Hi everyone and welcome to our next Monday Mulligan. Today we're going to be covering ball flight laws. So as your instructor, one of my main goals for you would be to start to be your own coach and learning what the ball is doing in the air and how the club face position, the direction of your swing can impact that direction. So when we talk about ball flight laws, I've got a little demonstration set up. The orange line is our target line, okay, where we want the ball to originally go. And then we start talking about direction of the club and club face position at impact. So if we've got an, out, an inside to out swing out to the right of our target, that is inside out. And then if we come from outside in, the ball is going to generally start to the left of our target. Okay, so we have nine ball flight laws. Obviously left, center, and right. The left, if we come over the top, and across the line to the inside, if that club face is pretty square to the direction of that swing, it's going to be a pull left. If the club face is open to that line, you're going to get a pull slice. And if it's closed to that direction, you're going to get a pull hook. Vice versa, if you go inside to out on the right side, if the club face is square to that direction, generally it's going to be just a push. If the club face is a little open on that direction, it's going to be a push slice. And if the club face is closed on that direction, it's going to be like a push hook. So I hope this has helped you understand ball flight a little bit. Um, when you come out here and practice, you can really start to be your own coach and knowing which direction the ball is starting and which way it's curving. The, the direction of the swing as well as the uh, club face position affects that. So, you can start to be your own coach and hopefully improve. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Monday Mulligan.